In Creo Parametric, you can use whole charts to create standard holes. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here I am in a part model. Let's click on the whole tool. And on the dashboard, you can change the type from simple to standard. And you'll notice that the dashboard changes. We have a bunch of different options on here. By default, when you go to the thread type drop down list, you have three different choices for which whole chart you want to use. ISO, UNC, and UNF. Let's start out with a UNC class of holes. And then we go to the drop down list for the screw size. Here you see a variety of different standard choices. Let's say that we want the half inch dash 13. And then for locating it, I'm going to use this point over here. If we go to the shape tab, you'll see that it is populated with different values. Then we can throw in things like a counterbore. And again, these are taking values from the whole charts. This is good. Let's hit the check mark for the first one. And you'll notice that we also get an automatic note that is created. In a later video, I will show you how to customize that note depending on what information that you want to have in there. All right, let's take a look at another one. Let's go to whole. Once again, we will change the type to standard. This time I will choose ISO. And from the drop down list, let me choose, we'll scroll down over here. Let me choose a nice big one, M10-1 by one. Let me choose this point and let's go to the shape tab. And again, you can see the pre-configured values inside of here. And this time I can say, hey, let's throw in a countersink, hit the check mark, and our second hole is created. The third one that I will show you, let's go to hole and standard. And this time I will choose tapered for the profile. And now we have a drop down list and you have three predefined charts for tapered holes. You have the ISO 7 slash 1, NPT, and NPTF. I think that stands for National Pipe Thread. So let's choose NPT. Again, we have a drop down list. Let me choose for this one. Let me use the, yeah, let's use 3 8 dash 18. I will select this point. And again, here is the information from the shape tab. Hey, let's throw in a counter bore for this one and hit the check mark. And then I'm going to click on this cross section and activate it. So you can see the shapes that are created for these three different holes. So, hey, again, Creole Parametric provides you a bunch of different standard hole charts to begin with, but oftentimes that is not enough for you to use. So in this video, I'm going to show you first step in setting up your own standard holes, uh, your different hole charts that you want to use. And to do that, I am going to get out of Creo Parametric for a moment, and we're going to do some stuff in Windows Explorer. All right, here we are looking at a bunch of Windows Explorer windows. First thing that you are going to want to do is to set up a folder that'll contain the different whole charts that you want to use. And so on my computer, I use a folder called Creo to contain all my different standard configurations like my config.profile, config.sub, publishing to Creo view, so forth and so on, a bunch of other different folders in here for my personal standards. I'm going to create a new folder for my whole charts and I'm going to call it holes. And let's go into that folder. And of course, since I just created it, it is empty. Now I'm going to take a bunch of the whole charts that are provided by PTC and put them in there because you're not going to want to customize the whole charts in your Creo parametric load point. So for example, I'm currently using Creo 7020. And so if you go into the load point, which I have installed in my program files, folder. Then if you go to common files, text, and then whole, here are those standard whole charts. We have the UNC, UNF, and ISO, and then the ones with the taper in them. I'm going to grab those six files and I'm going to control C to copy them. 
and then place them using control V into that other folder. Another set of standard whole files that you have come with the integrated fastener extension. So back in Creo Parametric 5.0, IFX added the capability to place heel coils into your model. And so you have a number of different whole charts for the helicoils, and I'm going to grab those. And by the way, the load point for those is going to be inside of your Creo folder. Again, I'm using Creo 7020, and then common files, and then IFX, the IFX folder, and then text and whole. Be aware if you are in Creo Parametric 5.0 or 6.0, instead of being in the IFX folder, I think it's in the AFX folder. For some reason, they were calling it the advanced fastener extension in terms of the load point. But again, I'm going to swipe a box over all of these different files and then do a control C, go over to that folder that I just created and then do a control V. So now I've got all the helicoil files in there as well. Lastly, I have a bunch of other different whole charts that I found on the internet. If you go into the PTC community site and search on whole charts, some people have posted some there. I also did a Google search just looking for Creo parametric whole charts and found a couple other ones. So here are five other different ones that I have. Hey, once again, let's select all of them and do a control C and then a control V. So now I've got all these different whole charts in here. And by the way, you'll notice that they have a .hol extension, which stands for whole. Uh, be aware if you double click on the file, a lot of times it will launch Microsoft Outlook because Outlook uses .hol files for holidays. Uh, so just be aware of that again, these are text files. If you want to edit them, like I will show in another video, you can right click on them, you can edit them with Notepad, Notepad++, WordPad, whichever is your preferred text editor. And again, I will show that in another video. All right, so now I have this file set up. Let's jump back into Creo Parametric to tell Creo to look at this particular folder for the whole charts. Okay, back in Creo, let's go to File and then Options and then Configuration Editor. And the option that you want is one that's called Whole Parameter File Path. And I think currently I do not have that one set up. So let's click on the Find button and then you can search on the keyword Whole. And here are all the different ones that have Whole in the name. Let me make this dialog box wider and longer. Come here. And so if I go into the list, here we have whole parameter file path. As the description says, specifies the directory path for standard screw size parameters .hol files to be loaded from disk. Use the full path name to avoid problems. So to set the value, I will click on the browse button. And let me go to my folder that I use, C Creo, and there we have holes. Let's click the OK button and then add change that. Close out of the Find tool. And if I scroll in here, there we have the option. And we have the green star indicating that it is a new option. It has not been applied. Let me export my config.profile again to my C Creo folder. Click the OK button. Click OK out of here. And now I am going to exit out and restart Creo Parametric. All right, here I am back in Creo after restarting so that it would update my config.profile. Now when I go to the whole command and then change the type to standard, hey, let's go to the drop down list. Now you see instead of just having three choices, here I have all those other different choices. So for example, BSP, that's one of the custom ones that I had found on the internet, just like UNFCB, UNFCS. And you'll also notice that we have the ones for the helicoils in here as well. So I went from having three different whole charts to looks like a dozen or more available to me. So in the next video, we will take a look at creating your own .hol whole chart file.
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.